Paula Beetlestone. Hello, Paula. Right there. <laughs> Hello, Paula. <laughs> now, you, you're, in, in the book, you, you talk about how important it is to have somebody who was your rock. Um, and that was your husband, Jeff, who's sitting next to you yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> mm. he, I, he's been amazing. I was diagnosed only um, in May 2013. And from then on, Jeff has just... I called him um, scaffolding once, actually. <laughs> I think rock maybe is a little bit... is not slightly nicer term. Um, so, yeah, so th throughout the treatment, so the surgery, the diagnosis that I w had a faulty BRCA2 uh, gene, right. then going through the chemo, the radio, the risk-reducing surgery, which was the removal of the ovaries and the fallopian tubes. Um, oh, yeah, I had double mastectomy as well. Um, so throughout that whole time, Jeff was just um, at every single, every single meeting at the hospital. He, the hospital was brilliant. I have to say they were. And, and would you I'd like to and Jeff, ask Jeff? Actually, I mean, was it really difficult for you, Jeff, going through that, watching all of that? Um, I was just, in, I was in awe of Paula and the way she handled it. <laughs> so. Uh, um, yeah, just. Because sometimes way. it can be very hard for families, can't it? To, because you do feel helpless. We, well, we did feel a little helpless, and we got a little boy as well, so there was that to consider. But um, Paula, because she handled it so well, we, we, we just rallied around her instantly, and because she was so positive about it, it made us all positive. So, uh, well, we well, well done, you. Yes. Yes.